Hello doctor, we are here to explain about a talk section which organized by UTM Excite on 19 April entitled Innovation and Sustainable Development Goals presented by Professor Mohamed Fadeh. We are from Group 1 and let me introduce my team members. First, Mohamed Amin Hazik, Imran Hakim, Mohamed Nur Shakirin, myself Tachaini and Damian Chandra. Let me introduce what is Sustainable Development Goals which are universal plan for all countries to end poverty protect the planet and ensure prosperity for all. The purpose of this webinar is to provide the developed transformational solution for the sustainable development goals through innovation and understanding the 70 sustainable development goals to researchers and also students. Thank you. Hi, my name is Hazik. Okay, the first one is UTM Living Labs. Based on this core value in which they created Living Labs, Living Laboratory try to engage between the operation research parts and academic. Students will be assigned to do a kind of innovations under research core value and then students will empower back or contribute back in the operation. The operation may be inside or outside the campus so this will adapt the sustainable development goal in university living labs. Students will be given many updated tasks and portfolios in order for students to create on what students believe as the innovation to serve the certain community. Okay, next is uh, the leadership young leaders. SDG is all about seedling, a kind of seeds of certain groups that who wants to develop the career and create something new. And to avoid the big competition, the formation of system is by harmonizing it. SDG is like about to give the, an idea what exactly concept for us to bring out, to make sure everybody is making their job. Why Sehli, uh, which stands for Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative, is actually created from very subgroup of Asia to ensure that to empower the young leader to make some transformation to their countries indirectly to other countries all over the world. Okay, next is the social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurship is approached by individuals, startup companies or entrepreneurs where they develop funds and implement solutions to social, cultural or environmental problems. Not ROI but it is SROI. Okay, what it is? ROI is return of investment. ROI is wherever you invest, you can get it back in terms of money. SROI is social return of investment, whatever you invest and it is not necessary to have money back. It could be a solution for economy. Next is uh, the empowerment, that recruitment. Uh, and then the third one is special interest more than personal. Okay, how it is work? First is identify social issues problem. Second is develop a social mission. The third one is develop support and develop a sustainable model and lastly is uh, impact assessment which is a uh, social return of investment next point is SDG influencer who is SDG influencer? SDG influencer uh, empower students to lead for sustainable future they, they, they partner with private and public entities and university to create impactful and sustainable change in digital economy for example they provide e-wallet just scan then your money will be deducted it is very easy as for marketers because ability to update content and offers in real time less expensive in marketing and for the end user it is super convenient uh, and quick payment for purchase some kind of e-wallet provide called uh, blockchains those top 100 SDG influencers they are making those blockchain as fast as they could it is about how to influence and make these activities give benefits to other leaders. Okay, as you can see uh, in this webinar, there are multiple social entrepreneurs uh, that were shown. And they have their own various contributions. But the main takeaway uh, from these social entrepreneurs is that uh, age is not a problem. Uh, impacts are not only monetary, but also social. Uh, it's not always about making money. And we can, how can we inspire others? through our actions and our enterprises. Uh, the shifted agenda in enterprises, uh, which are the initiatives of uh, social enterprises. Uh, in this, uh, in the webinar, uh, it's giving an example of the BGBG initiative, uh, where it is a, a social enterprise created in 2013, uh, which aims to change how people look at waste and sustainability. And as you can see, uh, there are many uh, initiatives outlined in the, in outline in what they want to do and what they want to achieve. Uh, therefore, students must also think about their initiative initially when creating their own enterprises. Created today uh, should follow the national entrepreneurship policy. 
which is aligned to be with the country's aspiration to achieve its vision for shared prosperity. Uh, they also should be uh, in line with creating jobs, innovation and product invention and making sure that the social enterprises continuously provide and contribute positively to the nation. Uh, therefore, the creation of this uh, policy is that to optimize and uh, grow excellent social enterprises in the country. Next is the business models. The various business models shown in the webinar are the ones done already done in UTM, such as the electric pedal assisted bicycle, uh, the agrotani UTM, and the product Hiliran. And as you can see, uh, this can, has been showcased by the speaker and can become uh, inspiration for upcoming UTM students who want to make their own social enterprise, enterprises in the future. Hello, Doctor. I'm Navin Anil. This reflection is regarding the Innovation and Sustainable Development Goals talk on Facebook Live. Professor Dr. Mohamed Fadil clarifies how researchers and students can use innovation to develop transformational solutions for their SDG in this session. What I get from the talk is SDG has many goals. We should also know the target and indicator for each SDG. For example, if in SDG 9, which is in Industry, Innovation and Infrastructure. So under this kind of goal, it has 8 targets with 12 indicators. SDG is about how to ensure everybody is on board, practices the same thing to make king things become reality. Lastly, I can conclude the SDG is very important in every aspect, especially when you want to run a business. Humans recognize that SDG may necessitate a shift in mindset. The objectives are complicated and their success is likely to rely on the new collaboration between industry, corporation and society. However, useful tools are growing to help business better understand how they can contribute to SDG holistically. So in conclusion, the overall tech session is about uh, the innovation, which is making something new, making product, and also about the SDG goals and how to be a great leader in entrepreneurship. So about the SDG goal is, uh, the speaker mentioned that it's 17 SDG goals, which all, all have the what, separate uh, indicators and target. They each have a different indicators and target. The main tagline for the SDG is, the speaker mentioned about is no one left behind because they want, SDG main function is about to make sure that everyone is on board. With, all right, so finally, this talk actually gives a huge impact in the students and it, it, it helps them to be a good leader. This deep hints uh, and all explanation of the speaker was really helpful since uh, he explained it very well in the talk session. Thank you.